In this video, let us solve problems based on cyclic quadrilateral. We have a problem here which reads like this. In the figure, PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. Find the measure of each of its angles. We've got four angles of this quadrilateral given here, which has got x, 5y, 3x, and y. Now we know that one of the most important properties of the cyclic quadrilateral is that the sum of the opposite pairs of angles in a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degrees. So therefore we have angle P plus angle R equals to 180 degrees and angle Q plus angle S equals to 180 degrees because of this set property here. So now angle P equals 3x and angle R equals x. So 3x plus x equals 180 degrees. So 3x plus x equals 4x which is equal to 180 degrees. x equals 180 degrees by 4 which is nothing but 45 degrees. So we've got x as 45 degrees. So we found the angle R to be 45 and if x is 45 degrees then 3x is 135 degrees. So we found the two angles. We just have to find angle Q and angle S. Now angle Q equals Y and angle S equals 5Y. So Y plus 5Y equal to 180 degrees. So 5Y plus Y equals 6Y which is equal to 180 degrees. So Y equals 180 degrees by 6. And 6 goes 30 times in 180 degrees. So we have Y equals 30 degrees. So we found angle Q which is a 30 degrees. And angle S is 5 times Y. So 5 times 30 is 150 degrees. So therefore, we found the measure of each of the angles of the given cyclic quadrilateral. So this was a pretty easy problem. And just summing up the whole problem, we just have to use one property of cyclic quadrilateral to solve this problem. And that property is sum of the opposite pairs of angles in a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degrees. Let us solve another problem. Now we have another problem which reads like this. In the figure given here, if angle BBC equals a 70 degrees and angle BAC equals a 30 degrees, find angle BCD. So we need to find this angle, angle BCD. So now further, if AB equals AC, if AB equals AC, we need to also find angle ECD. So we have to find this angle separately as well. So how are we going to go about solving this problem? We just have to use all the simple properties associated with cyclic quadrilaterals and all the triangles and in fact the basic rules of geometry. So let us see how do we go about solving this problem. So first of all we have to consider the chord CD. Now we find that angle CBD and angle CAD. This one, angle CBD, this one, and angle CAD, this one. Now, if you go back slightly to the chapter of circles, you can remember the concept of alternating segments and those kind of problems. So, that is one of the properties we're going to use here. If angle CBD, now angle CBD and angle CAD both lie in the same segment of the circle. So, therefore, those angles are equal. So, therefore, so here we have angle CBD equals angle CAD which is equal to 70 degrees the reason being angles in the same segment of the circle are equal. So the next point that we have is angle BAD equals angle BAC plus angle CAD. So now we found the angle BAD. BAD equals angle BAC plus angle CAD. We know that angle BAC is equal to 30 degrees and angle CAD we just found which is equal to 70 degrees. So adding them both, we get angle BAD as 100 degrees. So now the first thing that you should find out from what we found out in this is the first property of the cyclic quadrilaterals. The opposite pair of angles are supplementary. So we've got one pair of angles, one of the pair of the angles. The opposite pair in this case is angle A and angle C. And most importantly, we need to find angle BCD. So we can easily find it. If 70 plus 30 is equal to 100, 
then 100 plus something is 180 degrees, which is very simply 80 degrees. So therefore, angle BCD is equal to 80 degrees. So let me solve that here. So now we found angle BCD to be equal to 80 degrees. But we also need to find if the sides AB and BC are equal, we need to find angle ECD. We just have to find ECD. We just have to find this one. So how do we go about that? Now we have another data which we haven't yet used is AB equals BC. Now if you take AB equals BC, this triangle here, I'll just use black again for this one. This triangle is going to become an isosceles triangle. So, if these two sides are equal, then angle ACB should be equal to 30 degrees because the angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So, if the sides AB and BC are equal, then the angles opposite to these sides are also supposed to be equal. The angle opposite to CB is equal to angle A and the angle opposite to the side AB is angle C. So, angle C should be equal to angle A. So, therefore, here I write angle BAC equal to angle ACB because isosceles triangle. So what is angle BAC? Angle BAC is equal to 30 degrees. So angle ACB is also equal to 30 degrees. So if this is 30, the total is 80 degrees. So therefore we have angle ECD equals angle BCD, the whole angle, minus angle ACB. So the whole angle is equal to 80 degrees and angle ACB is equal to just 30 degrees. So this is 50 degrees. So therefore, we found that angle EDC measures 50 degrees. Now this problem not only involved the properties of cyclic quadrilateral, but also all the concepts that we studied in the previous videos. So in order to solve problems based on cyclic quadrilaterals, do visit our previous videos to learn the other concepts that we've used in this problem. Let us solve another problem. So we have another problem here. In the given figure, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. O is the center of the circle. If angle BOD equals 160 degrees, find the measure of angle BPD. Now, if you've seen one of the videos of the circles, then this problem should take you back to that video because we've solved a similar sum there in which we use the property that the angle subtended by an arc in the center of a circle is double the angle subtended by the same arc on the circumference of the circle. So if this is equal to 160 degrees, this one in the green, then this one that is subtended at the circumference or at the surface of, this, uh, of the circle equals 80 degrees because this is half of the angle formed or subtended by an arc in the center of the circle. So therefore, we have angle BAD which is equal to half of angle BOD equals 80 degrees. The reason being, the reason being angle subtended by an arc at the center of a circle is equal to double the angle subtended at the circumference of the circle or at the boundary of the circle. So now we've got this 80 degrees. Now another point to consider here is the property of the cyclic quadrilateral. Now we can consider, now we need the angle BPD. So now A, B, PD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Let me just outline that part in green for you. AB, PD is a cyclic quadrilateral. So we know that the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, we have angle BAD plus angle BPD equal to 180 degrees, in which we know angle BAD equals 80 degrees. So 80 degrees plus angle BPD equal to 180 degrees. Angle BPD equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees, which is nothing but angle BPD equal to 100 degrees. So the question says that we need to find the measure of angle BPD, which is equal to 100 degrees. Now, 
The question hasn't asked us to find the angle BCD, but still, if we want to find the angle BCD, this is no different. You, we just have to consider the different cyclic quadrilateral. Instead of considering ABPD, we need to consider ABCD. And again, the opposite angles will be equal to 180 degrees. And the sum of them will be equal to 180 degrees. So this will be the result of it. Angle BCD plus angle BAD equal to 180 degrees. We need to find angle BCD. So angle BCD equal to 180 degrees minus angle BAD. So angle BCD equals 180 degrees minus, we know that angle BAD equals 80 degrees. So angle BCD equals 100 degrees. So angle BCD and angle BPD are also both equal to each other. So this ends the set of three problems that we've solved in this video. Let us solve more problems based on cyclic quadrilateral in the forthcoming videos.